scrapbookers, it's Katie Scott, and I have made, I think, 11 layouts with this kit that I, um, that I made myself, and it was inspired by these two paper packs from Dear Lizzie. Um, one was called Polka Dot Party, and the other is Serendipity, and so I'm going to make one more layout, but that'll be a separate video, but I made a goal of making nine videos with my homemade kit, and I've made 11, I believe. <laughs> And many of them were two pagers, so I'm just gonna go through them, and then after that, I um, make I don't know three or four layouts. It's um, yeah, <laughs> at the end of the video, or it, that's the whole video, but it it goes through. I make a whole bunch of layouts instead of just one layout with this video. So I expect this video is gonna be super long. <laughs> Um, anyways, these are all of the layouts I've made so far with this kit. So this one I did during um, the live crop with Get It Scrapped on National Scrapbook Day. And I did that, this one too. This is a double pager. And not all of them had a ton of embellishments. I made this one, I think this is in this video that you're watching now. Like later in the video, I'll be making this layout. So that's a two pager. And it's really a one... What I kind of consider this to be is this could totally stand on its own. Like there is, you know, if you look online, there's lots of pages that look just like this. And this is a scrap lift of a gen of one of Jen shows um, YouTube videos. So I'm definitely giving her a plug. <laughs> but then I made this companion page, and so I don't really consider this a two-page layout so much as the main page with the companion page. So this is where I get to be scrapbook pretty, and this is where I get to include a lot of photos. I think that's going to be a really great solution for me going forward. Um, this one is called Rise and Shine, and this is a scrap lift of an old layout by Debbie Hodge uh, that was in Creating Keepsakes magazine. Um, the next is also this whole, like, this is a layout, but then I've made a companion page. And so you could call this a two-page layout, but I really, I think of it more as this is the main event, and then there's also this other, there's more information. So they, it will go like this in my scrapbook, but um, I don't know. I just <laughs> like the idea of having one page that's the pretty page and then the other page for a million photographs. Okay, next is I did a lot of um, scrapbooking about bush gardens for <laughs> this kit. I'm not really sure why, um, but there is another one. And then this was another, so this is the, this is another two pager, but this is the main event page, which I really believe stands on its own. And is also, I think I make this, yeah, I do. This is coming up in this video too. So I've made several of these layouts I make during this video. Um, but I made, so this is also a scrap lift of one of those Jen Show 6x6 paper love layouts. Um, and then I made the companion page. So they go kind of like this. Cool, huh? I think it's pretty cool. <laughs> if I do say so myself. Um, and then this was just a regular, like, this is what I kind of consider as a regular old um, double page layout. Although I think you could probably just use this and it would, you know, that could stand on its own. But um, this is also a scrap lift of an old Debbie Hodge layout. I've been going through my old, um, my old magazines and just tearing out the pages that I like. And I am, yeah, getting rid of the rest of them. I'm, I'm in a... I mean, I'm just like boxes stuff up to get rid of um, because I brought in some new things and I think when you bring in new things you need to get rid of old things so um, here's another Jen Show um, scrap lift and that's from her 6x6 paper pad love YouTube video series which I highly recommend it, it's really it's a great series um, so that's my grandma Grace and this is um, I don't think this is my best work, but it's, it's alright. <laughs> this is from our road trip last summer, 
And then this is the last one that I made, and this is also one that was inspired by Jen Show's video series. And then, so here's the page, and then I made a companion page. Yes, I did. And so I also think this could just be a page all to itself, but what I liked about this was that my Nana um, grew up in New Brunswick, Canada, and I've got all these old pictures, but they're all black and white, and that part of the world is pretty vibrant. So I liked that I could kind of show what that area looks like. And that was the last one that I made on, on this video. So thank you for watching. I will be back to make one more layout from this pack and then I will start um, playing with the stuff that I got on National Scrapbook Day. So get your supplies and let's start scrapbooking. Woohoo! Hey scrapbookers, so we're going to do number nine layout um, today. And I have to admit, I am really like smitten with um, the, the videos by Jen Show on YouTube. So <laughs> not to say go watch another YouTube channel, but um, well, I mean you should because she made some really great videos. I love them. Um, so this one she did for National Scrapbooking Day, and she took, um, she had a white background paper and two photos that were vertical in orientation, and I am going to, I don't have my photos selected yet, and I don't really want to go too far out of the, um, I don't want to go get more paper, in other words. I just want to use this stuff. So I think I might use these three photos and just kind of take her idea to a different place, maybe. Well, I don't know if that's going to work. She had um, the photos kind of like this and then all these different layers. I'm not sure if these three are really going to work for that scheme, although I like those photos with this paper. Hmm. <laughs> I might just have to make ten layouts. So I'm just going to put those right in the back with the photos already on them. Or put the... whatever you call that thing. You know what I'm... you know what I'm saying? <laughs> um... Alright, let's just... I'm wondering if this one will work, just the cream color. So I don't pre-plan my videos. I kind of um, have a little bit of an idea of where I'm going, but not a, t a lot of idea, obviously, right? <laughs> um, okay. So we're going to take, I don't think that's really working. I think I am going to have to get a whole other piece. Well, maybe not. Let's use this one. I don't know. I almost think I should just start over. <laughs> Maybe I'll put this at the end of the video. I'm going to get a piece of white cardstock. Hold on. Okay, I'm back. I actually got a piece of white cardstock. It's not even like the other side of an ugly piece of paper. <laughs> uh, I do that kind of a lot if you watch my videos. Um, okay, so what we're going to do is just take random little... Um, gets to put across the bottom. And I am not going to use my paper trimmer. And then I think what she did was it it's looking like there's there's like three rows. So I don't like these scissors. So I would say like eyeball it at about four inches. There's my little angel who's so sweet today. Look what I found. Can you read this? I can't see that. She read this when she was like four or five. Can you can you read it? Boat. I hate boat. I hate boats. Okay, I'll be back. 
Hi scrapbookers, so I'm back. It's been a day since I filmed the first part of this video, but um, I took all of my recently made layouts and photographed them, and so I'm going to actually do some blog posts, because I haven't done my blog since, I don't know, like sometime midway last year, but I did, so I've been doing the videos pretty consistently, but not... Um, the blog post and the photographing of the layouts to go along with it. So I will do that. It's um, I'm going to probably shoot for like one or two blog posts a day, but then I'll be able to schedule them so and link them up to these videos. Okay, so I think that my last video I showed you some of the other layouts that I made with the Dear Lizzie Make It Your Own Kit or Make Your Own Kit and I also mentioned that I was super inspired by Jen Show's YouTube channel and so off camera <laughs> I started two of them and so I'm gonna finish those two and then maybe even make one more um, she's just really she's she's got a great channel and I know I'm usually like oh I don't like it when um, people don't appear to be doing the videos in real time and I think she does cut out certain bits but it feels pretty it I like the pace of her videos and they're much shorter than mine so if you're looking for shorter videos definitely try her also if you like the Chamel videos she's she's back to it and um, and Jen's videos I think if you like Chamel's videos, you'll like Jen's videos as well. So these are two of the layouts that I kind of started with Jen's, um, with her, uh, I can talk, <laughs> with her, um, you know, setups in mind. So it's really easy to make these. I'll just kind of, um, I'll show you how I made this one and then we'll go ahead and embellish the rest of this. This is an easy one to make, but maybe not so easy as this one. So let's go ahead and do that. And then we'll, I might do one more and then we'll embellish all of them and uh, go from there. So what you do is this, is you take one piece of pattern paper. Let's just do random, right? Whatever I open it to. I don't want that. <laughs> no. Yes, let's do this one. Okay. <laughs> okay, so there's one piece of pattern paper. Now, I need one. Now, what she did in her video is she used just a. Where is my little paper pad? Oh, there it is. My cute little thing. I've been going through a lot of my old supplies and like getting rid of things and so this is the in the keep cut <laughs> I still like this um, but I haven't ever used it isn't that funny so yeah I'm, I'm I know I bought a lot of stuff recently but I'm in the mood as I get to from time to time to purge my closets to pr go through the kids rooms to go through all my scrapbooks of, you know like get all they clear the decks. Okay, so we're gonna do this one here. And what she did was, this wasn't so big on her layout, but I usually will, you know, abandon all white space. <laughs> it's true. Um, but hers looked more like this. So let's see if I can accomplish that. And instead of thinking too much about it, I'm just gonna go ahead and smack that down right here in the middle and then so let's just use the six by six paper pad um, for the rest of it then let's see we've got to have like something going this way and this way and I don't have my pictures picked out yet so I want to use something like pretty neutral okay so then we're going to cut two little strips. Oh, actually, we just can cut one strip like this. And then cut it somewhere in the middle. This should work. <laughs> okay, here we go. 
Well, it barely works. Ugh. <laughs> Maybe I should have done my original pen there. Somehow she made that work so it was like, it went, because this is six by six. The whole thing is 12. And so theoretically, you should be able to cut one of these in half and have it work. I don't know why that didn't. Who knows? So I sat in on the office hours over at Get It Scrapped today, and I'm always so inspired um, after I do that. It was Emily Pitts was the, the guest teacher today, and I have been a fan of Emily's since Simple Scrapbooks. And so if you are new to scrapbooking, like, you know, post-2008, you might never have gotten simple scrapbooks, but she used to be in that, and yeah, I'm a fan. I've been a fan for a long time. Okay, let's line that up. And she's with, Co so she's doing, um, she works with Coco Daisy now, which is a kit club, which I guess if I were, you know, I keep hemming and hawing about whether I'm ever going to join a kit club. I really, I probably put too much thought into that. I should probably, like we went to the movies last night, for example, and easily spent, I'm not even kidding, I was a little disgusted, a hundred bucks. Like, just on a movie for four people in our family, and um, the four of us, and concessions. And when my kids were ordering the concessions, I was like, getting a little frustrated with my husband. I was like, don't you, you know, you, they can't just get everything they want, you know. <laughs> and he was just like, relax. So there you go. Um, how much do I want here? Let's do, and I'm not, I'm not looking at her um, layout anymore. I'm not sure I want any of these. Okay, I lied. I'm going back to this one. Let's see if we can find something in here that I like. Stripes and stripes? No. How about stripes and polka dots, but not those red ones? How about these? Okay, that'll work. So this is just a six by four by six like Project Life type card. But I'm going to use it as pattern paper. And again, let's see if that works. Maybe I should cut it this way first. So I am kind of intentionally cutting it a little bit wonky. Yeah, I'm just going to do it like this because I'm afraid it's not going to... Like, it'll fit, but just fit, you know what I mean? You do. Yeah, so we spent a bunch of money last night, and I was thinking to myself, like, you know, I do all this, should I, should I, should I, about the scrapbooking, and it's really only, like, it's 30 bucks, you know, and if you don't sign up for the monthly thing, I think, yeah, it's not, like, a ton of money. I guess I just don't want to get into... A monthly commitment that's my husband is always kind of like let's not have any monthly expenses that we don't need so that's kind of where my mental block is and I you know I have all together too much stuff we know that but I think it might be fun to play along and a lot of the girls not a lot but a few of the girls from Get It Scrapped are over, they're doing the design team at Coco Daisy. So there we go, right? And now the next thing we need for this layout, which Jen Show does, I think that's how you say your name, but she will use like three different little bits from the six by six pad to be the the border. So let's just try that. Let's see if that can work. And I'm still doing, yeah. 
I'm being a little bit wonky about it, which will mean I'll need to kind of go off the page with it. So those are little triangles that will point to the middle. And then I just need something for those other spots. Maybe we can just use these. Let's see how that looks. I'm wondering if I can get these to, do you know what I mean? <laughs> like point the other way? No, I'm not going to use those. Um, and I think these are too close in color. I'm changing my mind is like what slows me down and everyone else in um, scrapbooking, I think. All right, let's just use these little, like the little um, polka dots. I think those will do just fine. And I'm going to do those on the top and the bottom. some of this stuff off. So I'm going to adhere these and then trim and I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I put together this and I looked for some photos, but I didn't find them. But I did find a bunch of photos from my daughter's birthday party and I wanted to show you. So I'm going to, yeah, starting and stopping a lot of layouts at once. I don't recommend it, but I do it. <laughs> I think I just moved you. I'm sorry if I did. Um, Okay, so here's the here's the takeaway is that this layout is going to be like on the one side and then you know how you I always want to like include a gazillion photographs these are going to be on this side so it's going to be like two pager I'm going to go ahead and trim these down and then adhere them to just a huge photo collage on the second sheet and it's not going to be like the most awesomest scrapbook layout but this one <laughs> so if I just wanted to post this one for sharing online I could but then my kids will be like oh, I want to see all the gazillions of pictures so those are all going to go on this next page and then I will incorporate some of this little this stuff so that the two pages are going to tie together Okay, I'm gonna do that real fast like, and then, <laughs> but not on film, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back, and I picked a bunch of photos from her birthday party, and put them on a white piece of cardstock, and then I put the little shelves, like these little things, on over it. And it was pretty easy to do, and she came in and approved the whole process. <laughs> the subject of my photos there. So is this like the most attractive, you know, scrapbook page ever? No. Is she like totally happy that I have all those photos on the page? Oh yeah, totally. So that's how I made this into a two page scrapbook. And now let's go ahead and do some, um, let's do some embellishing. So I took two little pieces because she turned 11 and so I was going to use these as the um, the number 11 and I didn't think they really looked enough like the number ones. So let me just see if I can, I don't know if I can do this. I should probably draw this out first but I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm just gonna try to make it look like the number 11. I was watching something. Oh, I know what it was. It was the Duggars, because I'm addicted to the Duggars. <laughs> the Duggars are the 19 kids and counting people. Yep, I know. It's, it's, I just like it because I don't know why. I don't, yeah, I, so I watched that, and they went to, anyways, they went to um, Disney World, and there was this lady, like, cutting 
all of the like the silhouettes and I was like oh my gosh how could you ever do that so now I'm going to go ahead and do a little embellishing so I'd like this to say hello 11 like not a big deal but just a little bit I also just so you know I did bring in um, I found some more papers from that paper pack that I didn't have, which I don't know, I, I must have separated them before, but I found them. And then I also found this Andric, Adrian Lumen, and they were all just here on my desk, so I didn't go looking. But this has lots of little cut-aparts where I can, I want to tuck words in over here. So I have pulled a couple of things. Oh. Sorry about that. <laughs> That's um, my poor production but quality of these videos. It's true. Okay. So there's the number 11, and I think that does look a little bit more like a number 11 with, you know, the little cutouts there. And then just can in there and just say hello 11 because that's how old she is now now and I'm just the other thing I'm kind of wanting to do is like do something that's going to tie these together a little bit better like make those shelves a little bit more obvious and one thing I thought of doing yeah was the the twine and I think that could work so let's do that so I just need some regular old tape and I'm going to tape it so it just kind of like ties it all together. Get it? Ties it all together. Uh -huh. And then I'll have to use some of this over here. I'm not sure where yet. Okay. So I have some regular old tape. Okay. So I think I'll just do three different colors. Just so I can do them all at once. So what I'm trying to do is not be too concerned about this page. This page is just where I want it to have a ton of photos but still be like coordinated enough with the other page that it looks like they belong together. So over at Get It Scrapped, um, the last issue was single and pretty, which meant like single page layouts. And then coming up tomorrow is gonna be the, for the love of the double wide, something like that. Um, I think that's so funny, but, um, so I, I have been, I haven't seen the issue yet, but I'm kind of excited to see all the two page layouts. So I don't know if that's been making me more apt to make them lately, but I have been making more two page layouts. And I think if you just kind of think of the two page layout, not like, remember in the olden days, they were like the whole thing was so cohesive. But if you think about, instead of thinking about it as this one giant page, think about it as your main page, like the page you would normally make. And then another page where you just stick everything else that you wanted to put on but couldn't because you didn't have enough space. That's how I'm going to think about it. <laughs> we'll see what they say. I get it scrapped with the, what the advice is. But I think that's, um, that would be a good way to think about it. So this one says, where did the time go? Seriously, like, how can she be 11? Oh, yeah, yeah. It's crazy, right? They, gr they really do. It's like, you know, people tell you, oh, they grow up so fast. And even you can even observe it yourself, like, Oh, they really do grow up so fast but then 
<laughs> Once in a while, you'll just be like so floored that, with the fact that they grow up so fast. Where, how did that happen? <laughs> Seriously, stop. I always say like stop growing. And they're like, we can't really do that, Mom. But it would be, I think it would be a nice idea if they could try to stop growing so quickly. And yeah, over at um, Get It Scrapped, somebody had posted, like, so in the office hours, the people post their layouts and then we um, critique them in a nice, loving way so that, you know, everybody can learn a little something and it's good. It's, it's a very positive vibe. But um, somebody had a picture of like their adorable little one in this cute sweater that they wanted to buy but it was too expensive. So they just like said to the kid, oh, just take a picture, you know. And of course the kid was like super happy to do that. And I was just thinking like, I miss those days when my kids would do like any goofy thing I wanted them to and would be so, you know, so happy to do it. And now sometimes they are and sometimes they're not and you know how that goes. Well, you don't until you <laughs> have a kid who is getting a little older. Now, I don't know where this transparency came from, but probably from, so I have this like, I'll show you. I might get a little messy, or I might, yeah, I'm going to, it's not going to work, but just trust me that I have this um, thing on my desk that's, it's like a silverware tray thing, but I've just got like all sorts of little bits, and so that's kind of where I picked them from, and I don't know where that heart came from, but I could use some more of those, I'm not sure. I want to say that I had it in a kit a while ago, and I don't see the rest of them, but there's some more hearts. Anyways, this kid was so cute, and we looked at the layout, and so adorable, and I was just like, oh, and I shared a picture of my kids being super snarky on a vacation. <laughs> I'm like, where, seriously, where do the days go? Mm-hmm. Yeah. These days are good, but <sighs> the days when they were little were pretty awesome, too. Okay. I'm just thinking if I can use anything else from that one. Nope. So now I'm doing my little process of elimination. And... What I want to start to do is to embellish this thing up. I'm also getting a little antsy. <laughs> can you tell? Okay, yeah, I think you probably can. Um, I want to get this all finished up. So this is the best kind of beautiful, which doesn't exactly go with the theme, although it kind of does. Um, but because I think she is beautiful, but also um, I like this age because, and I do like this age, but they um, they're kind of starting to, you know, they're they're in that in between stage where they can still be goofy and not self conscious, and at some point it seems like that goes away when we're when we're teenagers, doesn't it? And if we're lucky, we can hold on to all that goofiness where we don't really care, you know, like we'll wear a silly hat or we'll just, um, you know, be more playful. Or we're still able to be playful. Hopefully, you know, you don't lose that as you get older. But that's the kind of beautiful I guess I was talking about. Like, she's wearing a silly hat, so... I don't know if that helped. I don't think it did. <laughs> but I'm going to leave it anyways. This one says keep moving forward. So I'm kind of wondering if I want to I might put a bunch of little cards in here. 
And you know me, I like to... I don't like white space. It's true. So I'm thinking, yeah, I'm going to do a bunch of these little cards. Um... In this space here. So there's going to be less white space, which makes me more comfortable. So white space is a good thing, but um, I have this tendency to want to put as much as I can on the pages, and that's Kind of why I think this idea of the two page layout with one page photo heavy and one page just with the one photo is maybe a good solution for me. This one says, Today I'm excited about everything. <laughs> I feel that way some days, some days I don't. Herpy DM. Okay, and then this is the other thing that I kind of wanted to add in is to put these little strips. And so this was something that Jen showed it in her layout, but I've also seen um, Dora Sander do this type, same type of thing where you take the, um, oh my gosh, I can talk for so long. It's just obnoxious. Um, I got to i got to pause again. I'll be back again. Okay, full disclosure, I was gone for kind of a while. <laughs> but I did all the journaling and here and um, what else did I do? I don't know. I just, I, I tweaked <laughs> a little bit. And then I wanted to do some splatter since that's what Jen Show did. And I tested out the splatter, but I didn't super duper love it. Although it's okay. Um, so let's see what she does. <laughs> and so she's brave about her, um, like putting it down, which I'm not, <laughs> but I'm going to try anyway. So I'm just going to go slutter, 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 slutter. <laughs> I'm going, ah. <laughs> so I'm just kind of putting it in this little, that kind of a direction. And then the other thing I've seen her do that I won't do right now, but she really does have a lot of good techniques, is she'll spray into the cup and then just like do that for bigger splatter. Um, but that's not exactly what I'm going for on this page. And then when I put this down, I didn't actually like the pink, but now I think I do. So I'm going to grab that again. It was Letter Jacket by... It's Mr. Huey's letter jacket. So I'm just going to put a little bit of that down. I'm really, I feel like I'm splatter challenged. For real. <laughs> I'm a little bit, um, like, intimidated to do it. And then I was going to do this, but now I think I'm not going to do it. So how's that for changing my mind five times? Yep. <laughs> it's happening. And then, okay, so let's pull this off. And so we didn't get the picture, yay. I mean, we didn't hurt the picture. And then I think I did get it a little bit in that twine. So that's not awesome. And I don't have any splatter over here. I sort of think it might be a little bit nice to have some splatter over here. So let's just... Do this. That's, see, this is why I don't like splatter. It's a mess. <laughs> I think it is. I think it's a mess. But I just want a little bit, not a ton. I'm just going to do it. Oops. That's like a little bit more than... And I am getting it on the pictures. Oh, well. But there's a, just a little bit that will tie in with the other page. Maybe just a little bit here, too. Okay, now I'm going to stop before I get splatter on my kid's face. Okay. 
So there is my layout, my two pager. So that's, and I know that I told you I was gonna do a bunch, but I really, I keep talking too much. I'm annoying myself. Um, so that's layout, that's one. I will do the other two. We're gonna do them fast. I know I always say that. <laughs> Sometimes I'm trying to convince myself, but there's, so there's that. I'll be back. Hey, I'm back. Okay. So here's the one that I promised I would do fast, and I would do it like Jen did it. So hopefully I don't mess up. I feel like I'm going to mess up, though. It's not, it's not a good Wallendo trick. You know that guy that does the tightrope walking? So this is what she does. She does, you pour, you <laughs> splatter a little bit in there, and I haven't tried this before. Oh! <laughs> and then you can get big splats. That was much larger than I expected. Okay, that needs to dry. Wow, that was big. Okay, um, maybe let's just try that a little bit more because I wanted it to be not quite so big. <laughs> um, yep. Okay. Interesting, right? <laughs> maybe I should try these techniques out first on, um, on... A scratch piece of paper but now what's the fun in that okay I will be back and um, yeah I gotta let that dry I'm gonna I don't even know how to let that dry because I think if I'm gonna let that dry it's there's so much there that it's gonna blow and I don't want it to do that <laughs> okay we'll be back to this layout in a minute it or 20 minutes Okay, so this was the next one. And instead of, so this already has like white splatter on it. And I do have this like dimensional, um, I guess it's like fabric paint. And so I picked a piece of like older paper that I don't really intend on using. And I'm gonna just kind of practice <laughs> making the little splatters. And I think, <laughs> I think that should be my new technique is like, to um, maybe not practice on my layout. <laughs> but I just wanna do some of these little splatters. Oh, I don't really like how I'm doing it, but I think this technique could be interesting. I'm just kinda of dotting it on there. What's fun about this technique is you can kind of carry it into your other papers. I don't, <laughs> I have a feeling this is gonna look like doo-doo, but <laughs> there we go. So, ugh, more splatters, okay. Yeah, I'm totally not loving it, but let's see what else we can do maybe to, um, what my problem is is I don't have like a white um, spray mist, and I think they do make them, but I just don't have any. Um, so I do have, ooh, that paint is so old. <laughs> I need to go through my supplies and really, really, really purge. Yes, I do. I am, I'm, I am doing that, by the way. I'm getting rid of stuff here, like this piece of paper is going into my donate bin with the stuff on it. Okay, so now let's do this one. And I haven't picked a photo for this yet. I started to and then I just didn't, but let's just use this one just because it's here. And I'm honestly getting a little annoyed with my indecis my own indecisiveness. Okay. So I'm thinking I want to bring this into it. This stripe. I'm also getting a little impatient for um I would like to get you know, get on with the next layout. Do I like that? I don't really think this picture is worth like a whole I'd like to get a better picture. 
So what I could do on this one is do the whole thing with the all these on the other side, but I'm a little bit running out of patience with myself on that. Um, all right, I'm just going to do it anyways. How about that? Okay. So I do like this diagonal paper quite a bit, actually. So I want to save some of that. I did, <laughs> the other day I didn't cut, and then I got a, I got a message from, from somebody. Oh, who was it? I can't remember. I'm sorry. I have to do a, a show soon where I read the comments. Because I have, like, my, the people that comment usually are the same people. So I really appreciate your comments, and I should, um, I should do another video where I read the comments and answer and that sort of thing. I enjoy doing that. I just feel like I should have better hair than I have right now to do that. So here's this. And this is different than how Jen set her layout up. She had two cute little photos that she put. Yeah, I'm afraid I have that stuff on my hands too. Um, two cute little photos that she put in the middle. But I kind of like this setup just because these colors remind me of traffic. And this is a time when we rode our bikes all the way to St. Pete Beach. And it's not that far, but you have to go over this bridge. So, okay, I'm going to do the thing where I make the companion page to this and then I'll be back. So I'm probably going to trim these. I'm going to think that I'm going to trim them. I don't know. We'll see. I'll show you though. I'll be back. Hey scalpers, I'm back. We had dinner. It's Cinco de Mayo so I made um, quesadillas. Woohoo! <laughs> okay, um, and then I announced to my kids that they're going to be doing um, school over the summer. Like just doing a little math, you know, to keep up with it. And they got super mad, so <laughs> I, I retreated up here. <laughs> <laughs> to do a little more scrapbooking and then we'll, we'll uh, return. So this is my right side of the page. This is like the companion page. And I know there's a lot of stripes going on here, but I felt like there was a lot of angles on the bridge. So I'm okay with that. And then I used some of this paper here in the middle and I wrote my some of the journaling here. I love that you notice things like these doors to nowhere. So you can't really tell from the picture, but there's these doors, and then, like, if you walked out of the door, you would just fall <laughs> into the water. Um, so I love the, that you notice things like doors to nowhere under the bridge. And I love right now, you and me, kid, off on an adventure. Love it. And this, so this was, happened in 2014. Um, so I just wrote 2014 on the, the journaling card, even though I wrote it down now. I don't think it's that big of a difference. And then I, in my little thing right off camera that you can't see, I just really did randomly find these, um, the bicycle, oh, here comes one of them. They're so mad. They think they're so justified too. Um, hold on. Hey, scrapbookers, I'm back. And so I think I've done kind of, I don't actually remember what I've done since I, <laughs> I keep doing things off the record. Sorry about that. It's been a... It's, <laughs> it's been a fine day. But I thought I was going to be so organized about this little video process today. And sometimes <laughs> I just feel like a total scatterbrain. Yep, it's true. Okay, I'm just putting some adhesive on these wood veneers because I finally got my wood veneers into a format that I think I'm going to like. I've got some flare on there too. Um, yeah, I keep kind of interrupting myself with, I'm going to rearrange things. And I'm really kind of been in that mode lately where I want to rearrange and get rid of. And so that keeps happening, which is a good thing. I'm happy that it is. <laughs> um, 
you know, out with the old and with the new. You know, my birthday is coming up in about a month. I don't know if that has anything to do with my urge to purge. But sometimes I get a little... Like, I think of my birthday as kind of like a new year. You know, time to make some new resolutions. Okay, so this is Curious. And um, here's the story. We rode our bikes all the way to McKinney Park and stopped at Michael and Vito's for yummy pizza and over the big bridge. And I think I read this too before. I love that you notice things like doors to nowhere um, under the bridge, under the beach bridge. And so I think I'm about done with this. Um, I feel like this page now can now stand like on its own. And then I think I just want to like kind of give a little um, subtitle to that because I don't know. I think I should explain curious. So a curious, I want to say like a curious kid is a smart kid. So let's do that. So I've got that one more layout and I did use the, you know, the one where I splattered and then it was like really, <laughs> um, like very, uh, what do you say? very wet. <laughs> so I'm just going to write a curious, I think that, um, okay, hold on. A curious kid. I should have probably put that down a little bit. I'm not gonna. Um, so I've got one more layout to do that I'll do on this. And then I'm going to start another kit. And what I'm going to do instead of using a six by six pad for the basis of the kit is I'm going to pull some things that I just bought from my local store. Some new things. Okay. A curious kid is... I feel like I printed this at home. That's why I'm being a little bit... Like, for the, pr the pictures I print at home, I can't really rearrange things too much. A curious kid is a... Smart kid. <laughs> Wicked smart. <laughs> I'm not sure he would get that, but my daughter would. Is he? So yeah, so I'm kind of, um, I guess what I'm trying to say is that I'm ready for a new batch of stuff. I'm ready to be done with this. Whoops. And I guess that's why I like this challenge because when I make the kit, it's exciting because then it seems new. And then, like, for the first so many layouts, it feels like new and exciting. And then for the rest of them, I'm kind of like already ready to move on to the next thing. But because I've made a goal, it makes me stick it out and finish, which is a nice feeling. And so I think I will have done probably 10 layouts from this kid. I'll have to count. A curious kid is a smart kid. Um, but yeah, I'm digging this little setup here. It's actually just making me have like I feel like I have a million ideas and that's a good, like, I like that better than <laughs> I'd rather just watch TV because I've been there too, you know, with, with scrapbooking. Okay. So a curious kid is a smart kid. Ta -da. I feel like I want to add more, but I'm almost feeling like it's fine. It's really, I did what I set out to do is I got a whole bunch of photos here, and then there's my, ta-da, you know what I'm saying. Okay, let's, let's do that last one. And then I'm going to see if I can show you all of the layouts. I'm not sure that I can because I kind of mix them in with other things um, when I photograph them, but I'll be back. Hey, scrapbookers. So I, on my break, I put a bunch of layouts into albums, but I kept these out of the albums because 
they um they were all the ones that I made with this kit so I have that one where I did the big splotches I still need to do that but I'm kind of thinking like I should do another one so it would be some of these are two page layouts but then it would be an even 12 so I'm just like I'm kind of like it's kind of neat to see them all together because I think they look so different and they're all from that same basic kit so I just wanted to show you show you that little arrangement okay I'll be back okay so here's the big splotchy crazy mess and the splotches came out like really interesting <laughs> and by interesting I mean like I feel like I use way too much ink um, not that I need to be stingy with that I'm not worried about that part of it it just like com I, I just feel like it was it was almost like too heavy for what I wanted so let's just make sure these are the pictures I want to use I kind of do and I kind of don't um, what I like what I think they would match is I feel like the flowers and the colors are kind of retro. Um, what I don't like is the big splotch, honestly. And I also don't like, although she did, so this is my Nana Ruby, and she taught English, or she taught math and French. Um, and I don't think she taught art, but she did do art, and that was, um, you know, that would be like the splotches would kind of represent the art. But let's just see if any of those other photos that I pulled would kind of work in that space instead. Although I don't, again, I, <laughs> I kind of want to adhere to my, like, pick it and stick it philosophy. Um... Yeah, I kind of think I should just, like, go with the plan. <laughs> um, even though I'm not super excited. But I don't know. What do you think? It's okay. I'm not... I don't love it. Um, so I would imagine that she was called Miss Grieve back then. Because her last name was Grieve. And, um... It was before, I think she got married. I should look up there when they got married, my grandparent, my Nana and Grampy. <laughs> yeah, we called her Nana and Grampy. That's what we called them. But this is when she was like, I guess she was student teaching um, at Mount Allison or St. Allison. I think Mount Allison University. Um, let me do this. I'll be right back. I'm going to look and see what my great aunt Mabel wrote, because this was from her scrapbook. Um, so I'll be right back. Okay, so I did find my um, great aunt Mabel's notes, and I'm just gonna go ahead and like hand write them in down here, and then I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. So I found out interesting things. Um, so this is what I wrote. Great aunt Mabel, Ma great aunt Mabel, made a scrapbook for my Nana Ruby Grieve Fenderson, and this is what she wrote. Let's look in, in on Canterbury. Number four, one happy family, Jane F. Wilkin, Shirley W., Louise Grant, Joan, and I. And what was funny about the scrapbook is my Aunt Mabel wrote the journaling in the scrapbook as though she was my my grandmother. So it was like when she said I, she really meant Ruby, even though, it's not weird. Anyways, um, <laughs> and then this, and she, she numbered the photos, and then she'd have, like, on the other page, like, you know, all of the description, and so when I took pictures, I didn't print out all of the pictures. I really should go back and do that, but she would, I took the picture of the description, and then I would take the picture of the whole page, so I could line up, so that I just had to go back in my, in my photo organization system, which I use Picasa, um, and find that, and so I was able to get all the journaling, and so then I wrote, uh, so number five, at recess, my girls, Norma and I, and then I wrote, it is obvious from these photos that 
Rudy was well loved. And then the date for these photos was 1940 to 1941. And then I looked up Canterbury Superior School and I had a picture of it. I don't have it printed out, but it was a one room schoolhouse and it was like for middle, it was up till eighth grade. And so that's what she was, um, that's where she was a teacher. Isn't that, I think that's pretty interesting. <laughs> so I'm going to write here with this, these letters, teacher. And then somehow I'd like to write, um, like maybe with those smaller letters, um, one room schoolhouse, and then um, also write Canterbury Superior School. So teacher. So both of my grandmothers were teachers. And my mom was a teacher for a, a short time too. I'm almost feeling like I put this too far up, like there needs to be a little line. I don't know if I'll get to that, but. And then I really want to do one more layout with this kit before I move on. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that on this video. I'm going to have to see how long this is getting. Teacher. Okay. And then... Um, 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 um. <laughs> what to do next? Where to, so. See if I can spell her name in these bigger letters and then I'll write was a teacher so her name was Ruby. Ruby. Oh, I don't really like how this is going, but let's see what we can do. So I have A senders <laughs> that are kind of uh, messing me up here. Ruby. Yeah, no. Not working. That happens. Okay, so I'm going to use my little letter stickers to fill in. Oh. <laughs> where, oh where? Okay, so I'm thinking these to start and then the smaller ones. Oh my gosh, these are hard to get off. Okay, here we go. Okay, so I'm just going to write them across the top and I will be back just to save on time in this video. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, I'm back, and so you're probably going to laugh at me, but I couldn't find my Teresa Collins folder where I know I have more of these. Yeah, it may be a sign I have too much stuff. <laughs> yep, that's true. Okay. Um, so now I just want to spell out the, um, the school name, so I'll be right back, but I had to share that with you. Okay, I'm back. So, uh, I put some more um, stickers on, so that took a little while. So, it, now the stickers say, during World War II, Ruby was a teacher at the Canterbury Superior School in 1941. I didn't have enough letter stickers to do 1940 to 1941, but it does say it in my handwritten journaling. And then, New Brunswick, CA for Canada. And this was in a one-room schoolhouse. And so now I really want to make a companion page for two reasons. One, um, I actually want to make two companion pages. One is I want to get that picture of the schoolhouse, which I have on my computer. I just need to print it out. I want to print that out kind of big. 
And then the other thing I would like to do is I've got, and I've got it right here, um, this tour guide from um, New Brunswick because it's so beautiful. And I would love to take a trip up there. But I'm just going to take some photos from this and then make a little companion page. And I'm thinking that I'm going to use maybe a square punch to just cut some different photos um, from New Brunswick so that you can kind of get the perspective of where it is in the world that she was. So I will be, I'm going to go ahead and do some of that and then I'll be back. I'm just trying to cram a lot onto this one video. Why? I don't know. <laughs> but it's happening. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm finished with this and this was, um, the layout about my Nana being a teacher and then I went through that brochure and what I really like about having these two pages together is that these photos were black and white they don't look that exciting but if you know anything about New Brunswick Canada like it is a gorgeous place and so I just wanted to show the whole um, you know the whole bit and then I used a little bit of this paper so I just used that little strip that comes um, in, you know, these little things. When you pull the paper off, there's still like a little piece that's a different color. And so I just pulled a couple of those off to um, kind of tie it in. And then those will sit together in the book until I get that other, um, that other picture of the schoolhouse. So, yeah. But I really like the way that this brings, like, <laughs> all of these photos from the travel brochure are so, you know, and I try to just pick pictures that, of uh, things that probably existed in 1940. So nothing um, too modern for any of these pictures. And then I just think that is so cool. I love it. I'm pretty happy with myself on that. So that's, um, that's it. Um, so I'm going to have one more video. I'm going to make it um, a separate video, but I am going to do one more layout with this kit because there was one more technique that Jen Sho had that I wanted to try. Um, yeah, and so I'll be, I'll, I'll be back with a different video for that. Okay, thank you for watching, if you're still watching. <laughs> okay, thanks a lot. Bye. Oh, and check out my blog. It's called Kiss and Tell Scrapbooking, and I am blogging again. So, thanks for watching. Bye.